Good evening. Welcome to Miss Clark Reads to You. Today is January 1st, 2019. I thought I would read to you today from a book that I had an encounter with on Christmas Day. I went to my sister's house for dinner and over in my brother-in-law's little study area, there was this book standing up with this very familiar face. And I walked over to the book, and I picked it up, and I began to have a moment where I was leafing through it and reading snippets, and I thought, wow, this is so inspirational. So that book is The TB12 Method by Tom Brady, and on the side of the book, it says, How to Achieve a Lifetime of Sustained Peak Performance. What I particularly liked about that is thinking about the new year where we're all moving into our place of how can I be better? How can I be better in my brain? Do I want to do better in school? Do I want to take a class? How can I be better in my heart? Do I want to practice more uh, self-care? Do I want to maybe volunteer in the community? Um, how can I be better in my body? Should I eat better? Should I do get more exercise and raise my heart rate more? And the TB12 method has 12 principles, which I'm going to read to you from, from the book today. The uh, 12 principles come from chapter three. I'll just give you a glance at that. And uh, they start on page 32 and 33 of the book. The TB12 method isn't just a training regime. I see it as a holistic lifestyle. It is built upon truths and principles that underpin what we do every day at the TB12 Sports Therapy Center in Foxborough. But before diving in deeper, I want to summarize these principles since they make up the foundation of what we at TB12 believe is the optimal approach to exercise, training, and living a life of vitality. vitality. So I'm going to stop there and make a, a, a brain connection with the word vitality. The word vitality is, is, is energetic. The word vitality is this thought that with certain procedures in our life, we can actually feel better and feel more energy. Any one of these principles can be taken alone, of course, but also understand that their effect is cumulative. So the more you incorporate, the better your results will be. We don't view the body as an assortment of parts. It's a connected system that functions as a whole and you should treat it that way. By practicing and living all 12 of these principles, you'll begin to see great benefits. What I really like about this introduction to the 12 principles is that Tom Brady tells us that you can take one on alone. Just practice one. You could you could practice one a month and then be cumulative with them all. But the connection here is try to grab all of them and train yourself into all of them. Here are the 12 principles of TB12. So as I read them, think about one that resonates with you. Maybe one that you already adopt in your life and practice. Think about one that challenges you, one that you may say, hmm, you know, I need to do better in that area. And if something appeals to you, take a moment and jot it down. When I'm done, I'll give you a moment to do that, to journal for a moment, and then I'll come back and reflect with you on three principles that really resonate with me right now. One, pliability is the missing leg of performance training and the most underutilized and least understood. Everything begins with pliability. The daily lengthening and softening of muscles before and after physical activity. Without pliable muscles, you can't achieve long-term health. Every athlete needs to find a balance between strength, conditioning, and pliability. The balance will change based on what your age, sports needs, and goals are. Two, 
holistic and integrative training. Nothing works in isolation. Everything we do at TB12 is interdependent. And we believe that a holistic approach works better than a divided one. The body is one system. Treat it well. It is the only one you have. Three, balance and moderation in all things. We subscribe to the precept of balance and moderation in all things. Too much of a good thing isn't a good thing. And too many bad things are just plain bad. Four, Conditioning for endurance and vitality. Conditioning is about having the energy, endurance, and vitality to perform the activities you love in a healthy, pain-free way. Good health is about how you feel. We've been educated around how we look, but feeling better, that's the key. Five, no load strength training. Muscles aren't for strength or for show. Their function is to protect your bone structure and to support the acts of daily living. You should train to develop the optimal strength to do the job your body needs to do while limiting the load, dash, especially the overload you put on your joints. Make your muscles work every day and load them appropriately for what you're asking of them in your daily life. Six, promote anti-inflammatory responses in the body. Anything that reduces inflammation in our bodies, including hydration and nutrition, maximizes pliability and accelerates recovery. Try to avoid self-inflammation, whether it's in your mind, your body, or spirit. Seven, Promote oxygen-rich blood flow. The blood that flows to your brain is the same blood that flows to your feet and everywhere in between. The more ways you can foster the circulation of oxygen-rich blood and 100% muscle pump function, full contraction and relaxation in every part of your body, the better. Oxygen-rich blood rejuvenates and regenerates leading to optimal health. Eight, proper hydration. Drinking enough water every day, preferably with electrolytes, is essential for muscle pliability and optimal health. Nine, healthy nutrition. No training or exercise program is effective unless complemented by proper nutrition. You can't train or recover well when you deprive your body and muscles of the right nutrients. What you put in your body is often what you will get out of your body. Supplementation. Healthy nutrition is amplified by the right vitamins, nutrients, and minerals based on your current diet, age, and activity levels. 11. Brain Exercises. Neuroplasticity is all about generating and regenerating neural connections, which happens only when we train our brains the same way we do our muscles. And 12, brain rest, recentering, and recovery. The body and brain need recentering, rest, and recovery via sleep, meditation, or other balancing techniques that encourage the right mindset and recovery innovations such as tech-enabled sleepwear. So take a moment, this is that time where you stop the video and you make a book, a brain or a heart connection. A book connection is when you would summarize um, something from the book that is clear to you, that you know, we're pretty sure the author wants you to know. Making a brain connection would be Uh, something that appeals to you, that challenges you, that you would be thinking about perhaps in this particular uh, type of book being self-help that you would want to maybe move into to change. Or you can make a heart connection where you just grab hold of one principle and you say, that's it. I'm going to start with that tomorrow or I'm going to start with that right now. Stop the tape and do that now. And then we'll come forward 
and I will give you my connections. So the first connection that I made is with number eight, proper hydration. So as a teacher, I have a really difficult time drinking a lot each day, drinking what I need to be drinking to for optimal health and vitality. And I often find that when I'm thirsty or tired, I will reach for coffee rather than water. So as a lifestyle heart connection, that's going to be the first one that I'm going to adopt in the days to come. Bringing an extra bottle of water, starting with trying to hydrate myself with an extra bottle of water a day, and then moving that intake up a little bit each day. The second principle of TB12 that really resonated with me is healthy nutrition. So generally speaking, I, I do eat pretty much plant-based foods, lean meats, um, clean, as they would say, eating, not a lot of processed foods. But I also have a dairy allergy. So sometimes I will intake dairy because I don't read the ingredients or because I don't ask if something is homemade, how much butter or milk that was put into that to make that product. Um, so when I think about nutrition for myself, really eliminating dairy completely, um, not even risking if something's in it. Um, and then one of the things I've always liked to do is make a, um, a protein shake in the morning with kale in it or spinach in it or greens in it and mixing that up with uh, my nutrition powder as well as almond milk. So I started that today. I did that today. I haven't done that in a while. So I'm going to re-implement that into my life. And then uh, 12, brain rest, recentering, and recovery uh, really resonates with me. And that's a heart connection that I have already in my life because, as Tom says, meditation creates the right mindset. I've been doing that, that type of um, resetting or reprogramming for the last probably three years in my life. And sometimes I'm more... Uh, committed to it than others. So again, recommitting to that. Um, so eight, proper hydration is going to be my first step of TB12 that will be a challenge for me and bringing back in my healthy nutrition and my resetting of my brain consistently um, is those two areas that I already have in my life, but I'm really going to implement uh, more actively in, in a more committed way. So I hope that me reading the 12 principles to you has inspired you to think about one that, or two that you might want to adopt. And I will come back and revisit the TB12 method uh, at another point and we can check in and think about how we're doing and if we're going to try to make them all part of our cumulative experience this year. I look forward to hearing from you about what book brain or heart connections that you made with the TB12 method and with Tom Brady and with me. And until then, I hope you have a very happy new year and thank you for joining me. I look forward to reading to you again. Bye-bye.